Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy Hanukkah. Just uh, coming in to do a fun little quick tutorial with you today that you can enjoy quickly prior to the holidays for that one last little tiny gift that you forgot. These are some fun quickie rings that I just love having. They're, they can go with any outfit. They're done on the same premise. All of them, they're just different things are added. So let me explain what they are. So let me come down here a little bit more. So this one here, as you can see, it's just wrapped around a ring mandrel a couple of times. And we're, the way I'm going to show you to fasten it, it's the same with all of them. And I just put some tubular peyote uh, in the middle uh, of the, ends up having three bands on the inside. The one that the, the tubular peyote is on and two on the outside. So I put it in the middle and then closed it up around the, the peyote. I did the same thing for this white one here too, except I put the pieces in first and then did them up and then did them up on the ends. So you can't see any wire on the outside of this one and it's much stiffer. So this is just a tubular 10 peyote. You can check YouTube, all kinds of places to find out how to do that. Um, so that's one way that you can do it. This one has got an extra band. It's got three bands, as you can see. And so I've actually wrapped it so that it, at the very top it looks like four bands. And as you can see, I have just woven uh, on the outsides of this structure that I'm going to make. And you can weave anything you like on there. So this is one that I played with where I actually sort of basket weaved it a bit. Let's see if it'll come in focused. It's not my favorite choice, I would say, but I was playing with metals. So it's just basket woven on the outside with some beads. So that's really it's just some copper and metal beads basically around it. So that's kind of a fun, uh, sort of a more, I don't know, modern, different looking. You could make the shape uh, slightly different if you wanted to. This one here, I took a, a smaller base and I just had some fun with some beads. So, and I wove them on with little scrap pieces of weaving wire. I mean, they're not even the same color. One's silver, the other one's uh, copper color. Um, and I just had little scraps, you know, that little scraps of weaving wire that I keep? Well, I used a lot of them up in these little ones. Um, so these are a couple of things that you can do today. So I'm going to show you how to make these fun little rings, at least the base area, and then I'm going to do a quick couple of quick ones with you today. Um, we're going to have some fun together. So first of all, uh, you use either 20 or 18 gauge. Today I'm going to just do 18 gauge. Um, 20 gauge allows you to get over more stones uh, than an 18 gauge does, but you can use whatever you'd like. And I'm using uh, 26 gauge weaving wire. You can use 26, 28 scrap pieces of weaving wire, whatever you'd like to do that. So I usually start each of these with a 12 inch piece. And only because it gives me some flexibility. If I know I'm going to do a smaller um, ring, less wraps around, so there's less things, then I can you can start with like a 9 or an 8 inch. But you need to figure that out. So you take this and you put it around a ring mandrel or a big knitting needle or a dowel, whatever, um, that's the same size as your ring. And I actually usually start, this wire is a little stiff. Um, I'm not sure why, but it is. And I just bring it around. Now, one of the things you have to watch out, I'm just bringing this around right beside each other here. And all I'm making sure is that they don't overlap. See? So there's three times around. Let's do this one of four. So if you look on the top, there's four times around. And then when I let go, it's, there's a bit of a spoing to it. So it's a little bit work hardened, and I'm not sure why. I got the whole spool like that. So I'm actually going to do it, tighten it up a little bit. Because I need it to be oh, my right size when I'm done. Okay, so I'm good there. So now I'm going to take this ring. And this is the premise behind everything. Now, one of the things I was going to tell you about was that when you put a stone on a band that's already, this one will fit, and you can go around just like a keychain. This one's not too bad because it's a round stone, and it'll go around the keychain. And so I can put the stone in the middle, and I can put another stone around, keep going, and put the stone around on the other side. Um, you could put as many stones as you wanted on this. You could put stones on the whole inner band if you wanted. 
um, before you do this your imagination is the only thing that limits you with this um, so you can have as much fun as you'd like uh, with this I'm not going to use this particular stone that way I'm going to use it the other way when I weave it on top but I just wanted to show you that you can and I actually have a couple of other ones that I'm going to quickly do that I set up with other stones now this is um, a hematite cube now the cube isn't as friendly because the hole's not quite as big so I had to put it on one at a time as when the wire was straight and then bend it a little bit more um, this one was fine whoops I have an agate in the middle and a couple of stones and I'm just gonna make a simple little ring with that so let's show you how this works and I, the easiest way to show you is on doesn't matter if there's only like if there was one less wrap in here it would be the same okay so um, you need to determine how wide you want the top of this ring to be you need to leave enough space um, let me just zoom in a bit here you need to leave enough space so that you can get your weaving wire in between um, or if you have a stone like in this one whoops you have a stone you obviously need to leave it enough space for the stones to sit in otherwise the stones aren't going to sit in here and this isn't the typical where I'm going to wrap around the whole band thing um, yeah this is just a, something a little different so I'm going to stick my thumb in the middle and I don't want this one terribly wide I'm going to use a stone and some other ones I'm leaving enough spacing I'm trying to leave enough spacing so that my weaving wire will fit in but not too crazy and I'm going to take it and I'm just going to bend it 90 degrees see how he did that just bent it 90 degrees over top and as you can see this has got quite a bit of spring to it it's not normal for um, I think I just got a weirdo batch of pair of wire so okay so I'm using it for fun little projects like this so I'm gonna give myself just a little bit of space you can decide you can put this other one way over here if you wanted you could put it right beside it if you wanted you can it's your choice what you do with it I'm gonna do it fairly close on this one um, let me see with this one here I did them really wide apart so you can see it's from here to here so that I had lots more base to weave on this one I did narrower so you choose you choose that's the fun part so make these about a weaving wire distance apart again now you can actually measure this you can say oh it's this you know this wide um, I'm do much better with the eyeball so I'm going to take it and turn it 90 degrees over top so now I have this nice little weird looking gizmo Woo! <laughs> anyway sorry I'm being silly it's Christmas time almost so I get to be silly not that I'm not silly all the rest of the year so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make a little C just a little C um, that's going to wrap around this outside wire um, but I got to well, actually it's this outside wire that I'm going to wrap, be wrapping it around so I need to cut it so once I get those spacing the way I want it and I can figure out how much I need space for my weaving wires I don't need a huge amount of space I don't want this to be a big big ass ring so I'm going to take about half a centimeter past and clip okay so you can measure it at this point uh, I have one centimeter and a little bit so I can cut this one sorry I hit the camera at one centimeter and a little bit so that the, they start off sort of roughly the same there we go so they're both cut so now I have this funky looking thing that you wouldn't want to wear because it would hurt So now I take my round nose pliers. Oh, just so you, uh, in case you don't know, I always post what I used, um, what's needed for this project, what would be helpful for this project. Let me just move this down a bit here. What's helpful for this project down below? So just see in the description area, it's always down below everything that I used. Um, I don't at this point provide links to where I purchased them because I purchase my stuff everywhere beachop.com I purchase stuff from Parawire um, from Beta Holic, from 
Uh, what are these stones from? I got some stones recently from Fire Mountain Gems. So, and I don't always keep the labels with everything. I should, but I don't. Okay. So, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it at the end of my, whoops, the end of my pliers. I zoomed in and then I forgot where I was. Okay, so I put it in my pliers and I'm just going to make a C with it. And I want you to look. It's not quite a C yet. It's just a little hook. So I have to actually make a C with it. I want it to be a C. See how this is a C now? It looks like a... Well, let me get the wires out of the way. It looks like a little C. That's what I want. And I'm going to do it on the other side. And I'm doing it downwards towards the center of the ring. Okay. Make a C. Not quite there yet. See? Not quite there yet. I don't want it closed all the way because I'm going to close it around the wire. Still not quite there yet. Well, don't want to be doing that too often. That's a little better. So now what's going to happen is this outside wire, if I can get it to go there, is going to hook in like this and I'm going to tighten it up around that outside wire. And at this point your ring is actually still adjustable so if you want to check this double check the size you can pull this out further and detach it or put it in further to make the change the size of the ring. Okay? So let's get that in there. I'm moving the other loops out of the way because I don't want to catch them when I do this and I'm pushing that in with my finger the best I can and I'm going to take my pliers. Let's see if I can just do this where you can see it. Okay, get those three over there. Okay, so what I'm trying to do, let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on, baby, focus on my fingers, my chewed up fingers. I'm going to try to take the tip of this here, see the tip of this loop and this side, and I'm going to just squeak it in. I'm trying to get it to go around this wire. This is the hardest part of this whole project and deciding what you want to, which beads you want to dig out of your stash. You could put big gemstones on this. You could wrap, uh, I wouldn't suggest you use um, briolet, not briolets, yeah, briolets because they break. Um, I wouldn't suggest you use um, bicones because the, the edges of them could break with the roundness of this whole thing and for some reason that tips giving me trouble so I'm gonna try it from the other side hopefully you're still seeing what I'm doing basically what I'm doing is squeezing it down and wrapping it around so I'm, I'm taking it and turning it at the same time there we go that's a little bit better not quite there yet and the re what I'm doing is I'm taking my finger and I'm feeling and once I see, if you, I don't know if you can see that, it's wrapped around to itself. See that? That's what you're trying to do. And this is the hardest part of all of this, is trying to get this nice. Because this becomes the foundation of your whole ring, and it's what stabilizes your ring and makes it happy. So again, I'm spreading the wires to get them out of the way, not for any other reason. And I'm taking it, taking the tip of that circle, and, and I'm pinching it in. And this one's going much easier. This is how it usually goes for me. I'm just this is not about speed. This is about just going slow and steady. So now I have this crazy looking little thing. And I don't know if you can see, but this tip is sort of sticking up a little bit. So I take my pliers and just bring the tip down just a little bit. Sort of some cut comes in line with making it happy. So this is cockeyed on like it's not a square box. It could be a square box if I moved everything, but I'm actually okay with that because I'm going to just weave some fun beads on here. So I have some hematite beads and a little white bead and I'm just going to play. Okay, so this is how you do them. So let me show you on another one with stones. And this gets a little more tricky when you have stones on here because you don't want to break the stones. So I'm holding the stones with my thumb and I'm going to take it and go 90 degrees. Right? So it traps the one side of your stones in. Yay! You don't have to hold the stones as hard as me anymore. Take the other one. 
and I'm leaving the wires the same space as the stone. So I'm just pushing them up against the stone, see, bonk, and then holding my thumb on the top and taking it and turning it 90 degrees. And I'm leaving a little breathing space for these stones so they can move a little bit. See? Okay. Now, this one, I'm going to bend down where I want it to start. And this is 20 gauge, so it's a little stiffer because I don't want to break the stone. So I'm going to bend it down sort of where I want it, whoops, sorry, where I wanted to start. I just started the bend, just so I know where to cut it from there. And this one, I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to check, see if it looks sort of equal, because I want this to look pretty, because I'm not, I'm not going to cover the wire or do any beading or anything. This is going to be the ring. Okay? So now I have this funky looking thing with two wires half sticking down. So again, whoop, scrap from last time. Bead link. Okay, <laughs> that's what I think when I see those. I'm going to take this and I'm cutting off, see if I can get it so you can see it. I'm cutting off the same, a little bit less than I did last time piece. And then I'm going to take it, and in this case, I'm going to take my pliers, my, my bent chain nose pliers, and bend it under just to give it a start. And I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to mar up the wire. I don't want to mess anything up. I'm just seeing where it's going. I need to get it so I can see it, the wire itself. Okay. And the biggest, hardest thing with this one, when you, when you can see everything, is you have to make sure everything is lined up underneath. So you don't see from the top, you can't see the bottom wire. Done. Nice, nice and easy. Okay, make sure these two are together. Make sure we're all still good. Okay. Okay. Now, cut off that little piece. And because this is 20 gauge, this sucker is going to hold up. You're going to be hard pressed to mess it up. For sure. Okay, take it. I'm giving it a tweak in. Now I left too much on this one. I can see that I left too much on this one. So I need to come back in and cut it a bit. Take off that last little piece. And again, we're going to do the same thing. I'm hitting the tip of the wire. Rather than trying to do it from here, I'm hitting the tip of the wire. And the pressure is going on the tip of this wire and then flat against the other surface and it helps to tweak it in, see? Just tweaks right in. Isn't that lovely? So in this case, I'm just going to put my nail in there and give it a little tiny bit of space on the wires on the side. And look at that. I've got a ring. Simple, easy, it's going to hold together, it doesn't have any scratchy bits, nice and easy. And with the simple things that people love nowadays, this is perfect. So I have a tiger's eye in the middle, it's kind of fun, and two other gemstones on the outside. Simple, simple ring. Okay, let's do this one. So this one's going to work on the same principle, except I'm going to stack the cubes. So I'm going to bend it. I'm going to hold on to this last cube when they're stacked the best I can. I'm just holding those three cubes with my thumb. And I'm going to bend it straight out of the cube. And this one. And my wires weren't even. This one's really short, but that's okay. I'm going to bend it straight out of the cube. Now I, did, I bent the cube there. See? Bad girl. Cube, cube, cube. I just thought it would be fun to have something. There's one on each wire. Okay. It's being persnickety. We'll just make it. I'm the boss of the wire. The wire is not the boss of me. Remember that. You are the boss of the wire. The wire is not the boss of you. It has control issues. But you're not. <laughs> it is not the boss of you. 
So you can make it do what you want it to do. You sometimes have to be patient with it because it's got some control issues. It doesn't want to let go. There we go. I'm a little happier with that. So this one, they don't move around a lot on the wire. See, like on the actual wire, it's really hard to move them because they're such a tiny hole. They just barely fit on here. So this one I could do the traditional way. And you can do it either way, whatever way works for you. Boink. Good thing nobody's home to get that in their face. Okay. Ah, I'm off the screen. Okay. <laughs> I'm having too much fun today. I'm a little goober today. Okay. Make those half loops. Those C's. And this one here. Now this one I have to make sure everything's sort of placed before I do that C. And I make the C. Okay. So now so I'm going to leave this one boxy. See? It's kind of boxy. Before I tighten this I can see that this isn't really 90 degrees so I'm going to tweak it up. Make it happier. Tweak this one up a little bit, make it happier, so it looks more like a box. I don't know, just the idea of boxes in boxes. It's kind of fun. So again, this was three beads, three hematite beads, square cube beads. You could use anything you want, anything you wanted. Again, I'm just tweaking it down. Last chance to place everything, because once you do this, it's done. Tweaking down that C. That one down, much easier, see? Than that first one. So the more you do this, then you can tweak it still some. This one's sort of spinning around on there. Shouldn't really spin around, so I need to tweak this, bring this wire in a little bit. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Probably this way. With my fingernail. I can feel that this isn't quite tweaked in as far as I need it to go. So. That feels better. This one's got to go in a little bit more, too. Oh, I'm bad today. Okay, staying off screen. And I haven't even gotten into the eggnog. There we go. Okay, so we have another ring, another fun ring. Just cubes and cubes. This one actually could work as a fidget ring. It would wear out the coating on the wire eventually, but or you could just make them stack. Yeah, whatever way you want. Okay, so there's just two examples. Now let's show you how to put wire on this baby. So I'm going to take some weaving wire. I'm going to take about I don't know, 12 inches, maybe a little bit more, doesn't really matter. Grab a scrap piece if you want. Makes no difference. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put on my bead, my biggest bead. Now you could use a square bead, a round bead, a make it stick up as much as you want, as little as you want. Okay, so I have to start this weaving wire. Shouldn't have put the bead on yet. Okay, let's see. I'm going to start the weaving wire. It looks like here. Okay, so I'm going to stick the weaving wire in. Now this is, you got to take the weaving wire and you got to go up and down. See, up and down without it tangling up. One of the tricks is to shove it through the ring like this and then come back up. Oh, I got to put my arms in and sit them still. Okay. Come back up. Watch that it doesn't get tangled on the bottom end. Okay, so the, what I'm trying to do is wrap loops. I'm doing wrap loop, um, basically like you wrap up on a bottom wire, bottom wire when you're weaving. My mouthy is not working today. Words are hard, as Vaughn likes to say. 
Okay, so there's two wraps. I need to do one more. Let's get these closer together. I'll fix that in a minute. Burp. Uh, best not to get this wire too terribly kinky because uh, if you do you're going to have a hard time getting the beads on it just so you know and if you do get it kinky you can just take your finger and run it down and unkink it a bit okay so I've got it secured I've got three wraps there so now I can put this bead on. Straighten out the end first. Do -do -do -do. Take the bead down to the bottom. Bonk. Okay. Again, I gotta secure it. So, I gotta go in. I'm just making sure that it's going down smoothly. See? Going down smoothly. I'm gonna stick this through here. And then back up. And right now, it's, everything's sort of flapping around. That's okay, because I'm going to weave some other stuff in here. Coming back up. I'm coming back up here, because I'm wrapping this second wire rather than the first wire. I should have just done it on the first wire. It would have been way easier. But I decided to do it on the second wire. You can do whatever you want. Got a kink in my wire. Not good. Worst case scenario, it breaks, and I have to start with a new wire. Again, this is like, I call this my scrap project. It's thing I do this with scrap stuff so that I don't have to worry about it too much. Back up the middle. Okay, so I'm ready to add some more beads. Now, I need to figure out how I want to add beads on this. I have not thought that through yet. But I'm just going to stick some of these hematite beads on because I really like them. I'm into hematite lately. I don't know what, what it is with me in this dark stuff, but... I am. I'm into hematite lately. And I'm just picking up some beads. They're just out of your eye shot here. <laughs> and I'm not using my beading mat, so they're rolling all over the place. This is a rubber mat. I use this one. I, it's a big rubber mat. I actually got it. It's kitchen liner, and it's rubber, and it's meant to go in, in the bottom of a silver door. And it comes in big rolls that are uh, 24 inches wider. wider. Okay, so what do I want to do with these beads? Hmm. Do I want that bead off center? Do I want it in the middle? Do I want to wrap it around? What do I want to do with this? Do I want to do it traditional? No, I don't want to do traditional. Let's put it off to the center and let's take these and put them over here. Do do do. Again, I'm just playing. And that's this is what I call playing. It's just having fun. Move that wire in a bit so I can get in there. So it's much easier when you do it on the outside wire. Get the beads back up where they're supposed to be because they're like moving around all over the place. Okay. Well, there. So they're sort of around this side. And now where do I want to go? Let's run straight up this way. making sure it's good and tight. And I don't know how many are going to fit. I'm just checking it out and looking, putting beads on. These are just little size 11 seed hematite seed beads. So I'm thinking I could put it over to here. But it looks a little loose there. Well, it's because it's come around the corner. Don't want it to do that. kind of like that okay so let's put it here see I'm just taking the wire and putting it around securing it a couple of times putting it up through the structure on the bottom structure on the bo bottom becomes your framework for whatever you feel like doing so let's see what do I want to do now I'm going to wrap a few more times. And this time I'm going around, I'm actually going around the other bead wire there to secure it a little bit more because I don't like the way it's flapping around in the breeze. This is, you get to be creative here. This is where you get to have fun. 
decide what you like, what you want to go where. This is so much fun. Beads, beads, glorious beads. And wire. See, my beads are my first love. I'm Aboriginal, so Native American, I'm actually Native, Native Canadian. And um, because they're my first love, I used to do, you know, uh, bead weaving and all the different stitches and, you know, uh, bead embroidery and all that kind of stuff for years. Um, all the traditional stuff. So let's take a couple. I'm going to take three. Now you could add another color bead if you wanted. And I'm going to sort of just make this stick out a little. See how I'm going to make it stick out a little? So it looks like a sort of drop down. And then I'm going to stick this back in that hole. Now because these seed beads are really tiny and they're on a wire, they're not going anywhere. Again, you have to just watch that you don't kink the heck out of your wire. That's all you're watching for. Make sure those three beads are where they're supposed to be. Down. Okay, so that's kind of a fun little decoration. So you just keep going on like that. I know. You guys probably do not want to watch me. You can fast forward. Feel free to. Again, Merry Christmas. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And have a wonderful holiday season. Uh, I may or may not post more between the new year. I'm thinking I might. Um, guess I better bring the wire back up first before I put more beads on. Um, I'm not sure uh, what my plans are for the holidays. I have a little bit of plans, but I don't have a ton. So I'm going to come back around the other side here. One. And the wire just becomes my needle for putting the beads on. And I'm just, as I said, I'm just playing. So I don't want any of the base to show. That's sort of my objective at this point. So I'm trying to do things that make it fun, but also cover up the base at the same time. Ooh, this is sort of, sort of almost floral, organic coming out. It's what it's turning out like. That's what it's looking like to me anyways. So let me pull this down. Pull this tight. Hold the beads where I want them to be. It's kind of fun so far. If I go tighter around there, I could bring down another layer. And I think I'm going to do that. So again, I'm just doing a couple of wraps. I'm just securing things as they go so they don't shift around. And so far, other than the weaving wire that I started with, which I do have to get rid of, there's no nothing pokey or sharp or it's great. Love it. And I think I'm going to move this wire towards this side before I come out. And the reason being is because I want to come across this stuff. See? So you're getting to watch me be creative and just have fun. Do to do. I know I move my ring out of the way while I'm picking up beads. Let's see. That sort of covers it on that side. Mm, I'm going to put one more on. Just for good luck. Okay. You can go outside of the framework. It's up to you. You could, you could put beads on this entire thing if you wanted. Whatever you'd like. Personally, for me, I don't like scratchy bands. Uh, if they're scratchy bands, they annoy me, and then I don't wear them. So, see, I'm just bringing it around. What is with the autofocus? Thank you. So, I'm talking to my camera. Last steps before insanity. Let's do another little 3B. Hmm. Actually, let's put some beads on and see. Okay, do do do. So as you can see, this is kind of fun. I could put more bigger beads on now if I wanted before this. Um, put all kinds of big beads and put little beads around. 
but I'm kind of liking this is almost flowery like almost like a rose kind of thing happening I'm not even sure what it's doing but I'm kind of having fun with it and I don't like the way this point is kind of got some loose wire showing so I'm gonna just take it try not to kink it I'm gonna put wire inside a wire and I'm gonna pin her down Again, you're the boss of the wire. The wire's not the boss of you. See? Bring that underneath. Or am I going to go on top? I'm going to go in the middle. So this is, I'm sort of in it doing a circular pattern almost around it, but in a sort of almost organic flower-like way. I didn't know that's what I was going to end up with. But that's what seems to be happening. That's what's looking good to me right now. Again, you're making the wire do what you want it to do. So I can curve that wire. I can turn it into a little knot if I want. See, I can turn it into a little knot. I can do whatever I want. So let's turn it into a knot. I'm making it knot up on itself on purpose. So let's do some more beads because I don't have enough now to go across. Do, 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 do. Hope you guys aren't getting swamped with the snow we got the other day. Okay, so I need to fasten this in. And you so notice I started with like 12 inches of wire. I still have wire doesn't take much wire it just takes little scraps and you can use one piece for one one section and then another piece for another section up to you what you do it's totally up to you how you do this what you put where how much you you know if I want to put wire around this some other wire now I could do that some you know even the wires that have the beads on them I could put it around those wires okay I need some more beads. So I wrap it twice usually. I don't know if you're noticing that. Sometimes I only go once if I'm just changing, completely changing direction in another way. Um, I want to secure it down pretty good. I don't want, if you catch this edge of this ring, it's not going to go anywhere. So that's the whole idea. So I'm going to take this one and put it around here in the middle. Come on, boy, I get it all. So let me get rid of this tail wire because it's the actual reason I'm having trouble. So I'm going to take it through the ring band. Actually, I'm not going to take it through the ring band. I'm going to leave it on the top side here. I'm leaving it on the top side. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My camera died right in the middle of all that. So I wove in and out around other beads, around other bead wires. Whoop. I just had fun with lots of beads. If you look inside, it's not messy. It just has some beads and the one center bead that's there. And that's what I ended up with. So that was my fun project. So again, there's some of the things you can do. Uh, this one actually fits this finger. This one fits this finger. This one fits this finger. So there's a different style. This one fits this finger. This one fits whatever. So those are all the fun little crazy things that you can make. And then, oh, forgot the two other new ones. Uh, yeah, there we go. So there's all the, all the different styles and things. Definitely doesn't fit this finger. Let's swap. There we go. These are all the crazy and different things you can do. As you can see, your imagination is your only limitation. Uh, I wish again you all have a happy holiday season. Don't forget to like or share or subscribe uh, if you haven't done so to this point. Have a wonderful holiday season and we'll see you in the new year. Take care from Manny's Making. Keep on making.